Hey guys, I am Erin Osborne, Ruby Ambassador with Plexi, and I'm excited to bring you day two of our five part series of How to Go Silver. And I'm joined by... My name is Amy Erin, and I'm also a Ruby Ambassador. So we're so happy that you guys have joined us for another day of How to Go Silver. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to utilize social media to help get the word out about your new journey with Plexus and how to help you go silver. You do not have to be a super extrovert for this to work for you too. I'm an introvert and did not have tons of friends on social media. Um, I had to reconnect with lots of people, but that is not what this is about. This is about letting the people who are in your social media circle now know what you're up to. I, when I found out that the products we were using worked, I wanted to share through the encouragement of my friend on social media. I thought she was a little bit crazy. I thought nobody cares what I'm up to. Nobody's going to be interested, but I did it anyway because she told me to. So, and what happened was I got my very first customer with a post. So social media can help you get a jump start on your, on covering your products. It does not have to be a big to do. Okay. You're just going to share your story. You don't want to do a graphic. You don't want to show pictures of the products. You want a picture of you. Your friends are interested in you and your life. So graphics and things like that. You could do a cute picture of yourself with your pink drink if you want it, but you want a picture of you in your life, right? You don't have to have big gigantic results to tell people what you're doing. I didn't. I literally just one day realized that, oh, I'm sleeping a little bit better and I haven't had a Diet Coke in four days and I'm not dead. So <laughs> you don't have to have huge results. You just need to know that what you have can help other people, which it can. So just be excited about the potential to help someone else find that success as well. And I think one of the most important and one of my favorite parts about social media is the connections that we're able to make with people. Um, you know, just think about what your life would look like without social media. You would not be connected to the same amount of people that you are now. I have, you know, reconnected with friends from high school, from going up, from college. I'm able to see people's families as their families grow. And that's been such a fun part of social media for me. And so um, when I started doing Plexus, this is just a natural extension of what I was already doing. I was already sharing about my kids' lives. I was already sharing, um, you know, about my journey with diabetes. And so this is kind of the next step for me. It was a very easy transition. One of the biggest things about social media, one thing that people are constantly looking for is vulnerability and authenticity. Um, people want to see what your real life looks like. People want to know um, the ups and the downs. They want to know what your life really is. Um, now, this does not mean that they want to hear all the nitty gritty details and all of the horrible things that are happening or all about your bad day. Those are for your select group of close friends but they want to know what you're really experiencing because that's how people make connections. People relate to stories. Um, and so as you're starting to share your journey, I encourage you to be open, be open with your audience, um, help make connections with them. Think about where you were. How were you feeling before you started the products? Um, for me, I was exhausted all the time. Um, my blood sugar was all over the place. And I was just struggling, just functioning period. Um, and so that leads to why I started doing it. I wanted to feel better. I wanted to be a better version of myself. Um, I wanted to feel better for my kids and for my husband, for my community. And so that's my why. That's why I started taking these products. And now where is it taking me? When I first started, I really didn't know where it was taking me. So um, my first post, I talked about my friend Abby has had great success. She has five kids. She has energy. She's been able to lose the baby weight. That's where I was going. I was excited about seeing those things for myself. And now, two years down the road, I'm still sharing that with people. I'm still sharing with people um, all the results that I'm continuing to have two years into this journey. And so I just encourage you to be open and to be honest and be real with people. Let them into this part of your life because you know what? Someone's going to look at your post one day and be like, you know what? I feel like that too. I can totally relate to what she's saying right now. I need to give those products a try. 
And that's how we attract people. That's how we share this business with them in an authentic way that's not salesy, that's not pushy. And that's such a huge part um, of starting your business or getting your products covered. Whatever your goal is, the more authentic and vulnerable you are, the more attractive you are to other people, the more attractive these products are. So I just encourage you guys, when you're posting, think, okay, who is this connecting with? Who can, who can relate to this story? So what does that look like? What does being vulnerable and sharing what you're doing look like? It starts short and sweet. You don't have to write a novel and tell everybody everything with your first post or with posts in general. You want to share a little bit about what you've been struggling with. You want to tell them about, like Amy said, what you're looking forward to. Because the struggles that you have, that is what people connect to. That is what people relate to. That is what pe make people say, oh, I I'm not the only one that's suffering with that. I'm not the only one who's not sleeping. I'm not the only one who has adult acne. I'm not the only one with a child with eczema. All of these things, that is what people relate to. Your life doesn't have to be perfect because no one's is, right? So my first post might look something like, I know some of you may not know this, but I have been struggling with X, Y, and Z. And after I've watched my friend success with yada 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 I decided to try these new natural products and I'm looking forward to the day when I can tell you that I'm also seeing these results mm -hmm. like my friend I would love to have friends do this with me so what you're doing is you're sharing what you struggled with that's part one if you haven't started your products yet, you share what, what you're looking forward to and what success you've seen with your friend. If you have started your products, you can share a little bit about, you know, it's day two and I've already not needed it. I did not need a nap today. That's a big deal for a lot of people. I did not know that people needed naps all the time, but they do. So by day two, you don't need a nap. That's what someone's going to connect to. I want I'm excited about this. And then you invite people to do it with you because doing it with friends is more fun and it makes you more successful. So you share your struggle. You share what you're looking forward to or what your successes are and you invite people to do it with you. And it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. That's all you're doing with a cute picture of your sweet little family. We hope that these tips have been helpful for you guys today. And we just encourage you guys to take the first step in making your first post. Um, if you need help with these, send it to your upline. Let us help you guys make a successful first post. Um, I hope that this was helpful information and you guys will turn, tune in tomorrow for day three of our silver series. Bye y'all. Bye guys.